M0 FXP Digital Ham Radio Diary. Welcome. M0 FXP, so we're going to update the firmware on my ICOM 5100. And to look up the firmware we've got, we're going to have to select Menu, then Others, then Information, then Version. And that's what we've got, but we will be upgrading to the version that came out on the 2020 January 24th and it's the DSP firmware will be 1.14 so we will end up something like this CPU 1.21 S 1.00 C 1.20 and DSP 1.14 we're going to need the cable OPC 2350 LU and it will need a USB adapter to go into my laptop and this also fits the ICOM 51 so the smaller end the 2.5 mil plugs into the base unit of the radio. So there is a, a method of getting the radio into firmware mode. Turn off the radio, then connect your OPC2350 to the radio and the PC. Set the volume and squelch to the 9 o'clock position. Now hold your finger on the quick button and turn the radio on. You're now in firmware mode. I shall show you this on the radio. Right, we're gonna put the radio into firmware mode. So we'll turn it off. Power's still going to it. We're gonna turn, I know it's all dusty, but we're gonna turn these to nine o'clock here on the other side. And the other side's at nine o'clock as well. A little bit. Then we've got to hold down the quick button here while turning on. Right, won't go in firmware mode, so I'm going to run the software, double click that little file, you get this window, I'm going to click yes, and then I'm going to select 15, which I know is in the device manager. See it there, USB serial port 15. Now I'm going to hold down the quick again and turn on. Okay, that works, so you do have to sort of run the software first, it flashes like that, quite scary, and then... Back to the PC or lap. Now you want to make sure you've got plenty of power in the laptop. I have, it's plugged in. And also even the lead, these lead, you know, the OPC, just don't touch it because I've heard it disengaging. So you don't want that halfway through up update. I mean, it is recoverable, but it, it, it could be so bad you send it back to ICOM. Anyway, back on the computer. Like so. And we've selected 50 and I'm just going to select OK. I'm hoping it will work. It says here, do you wish to start update? I'm going to click yes. And then I'm going to watch it and fingers crossed. Apparently it runs about three lots of firmware. So it, when it gets to the end, don't turn anything off. Don't touch anything. I'll just show you what the radio looks like. That's what I'm seeing. And all of them will change when it's finished. So as it completes, I will show you. You can see that the cable is plugged into the one that's called data. Now it's a bit wobbly, but let's get some, there you are, data. So not the speakers one and two. And then into my PC. Okay, let's take, I reckon each section is gonna take about four minutes. Right, it looks like we're all done. Firmware updating is completed. Click okay. And I noticed the radio did reboot a couple of times. And it did say about the uh, release E7, which adds some more features. Because so I've seen all the E3, you know, extra features. So I did check, and the E3 is an older version. So everything in the newer firmware you get that's in the E3 list, and it's a very long list. I'll put everything in the links in the description. 7.3, thanks for watching. All the best. Let's finish up by going menu, go to other, just turning that knob. And then information, version, and there we are, all the latest. Cheers.